one of the most classic sayings ever, and it's brilliant, is a picture is worth a thousand words. By definition, a emoticon is a picture. It's worth a thousand text words. A well-placed emoticon can take the place of a sentence or even a paragraph. If you think about the effort part where you want to be showing less effort with like the length of your text, if you can put a good emoticon in there and make it mean more than just an emoticon, you're getting the point across to her without having to put a lot of effort in, which is all gonna work in your favor. So emoticons are big. Now, when I talk about emoticons, when I look at this for girls, emoticons can show you a lot. Let's take a sentence, um, that's cool. Like if a girl just said that's cool with just a period, that's cool, that's pretty cold. Doesn't sound that interested in you at all. If she says that's cool with an exclamation point, that's a little bit better. She put some energy into it. Now if she says that's cool with an exclamation point and a smiley face, do you see how that adds even more energy into it? Emoticons can help decipher whether whether she was being playful or not. And when you use emoticons, you can show whether like a playful side just by using emoticons. You're a piece of work. If you said that to a girl, remember she if she read that text, you're a piece of work, she might take it as really like angry and cold. But if you were to say, you're a piece of work, and you have like that monkey emoticon that has like the hands over his mouth, I love using that one, I love animals. That's playful. You just took a cold statement, you are a piece of work, and you put that monkey face on there, and now it's funny, it's playful, and that little emoticon just made it so you didn't have to over explain your joke. Of like, you didn't have to tell her, hey, I'm just joking, I I'm teasing you. That monkey emoticon did it for you. But now, if a girl sends you emoticons, I look for, in this is not something you always, you know, sometimes, um, you might overanalyze something, but just keep this in mind. If she sends you an emoticon that's not very common, that's a good sign because she's putting effort into finding an emoticon that fits perfectly. So what are common emoticons? Well, I know you can probably think of a few, you know, off the top of your head right now. We got like the classic smiley face. We got the wink face. Um, we got the sad face frown, um, you know, we got like maybe the thumbs up, uh, maybe the that sign, those are kind of common ones. But now, you know, what if she sends you something and she finds this like snail emoticon that you know she had to search in her emoticon little, little, you know what I'm talking about, the emoticon bank of finding the right emoticon. If you can tell that she had to search, which means it's an emoticon that is very rarely used, then that's a good sign. That means she took her time. She cared about your conversation enough to find the perfect emoticon for it. So you see how those little things can tell you more about her interest level. Everything about her, a woman's interest level, whether it's in person and texting, whether you're married in a long-term relationship, most guys bank on past experiences and kind of like coast off that. So. If you think about a lot of marriages and a lot of divorce rates, it's like guys might do something a week ago for their wife. They took her to a nice dinner or they, you know, they mowed the lawn. And it's like they want to bank on that and think that that's going to let them coast through a whole week with her when really women are, are they are so responsive to their emotions that, and their emotions change all the time. So to a woman, you might have been a perfect husband for five years, but if you did one thing to really tick her off, in that moment, she will not give you any credit for anything in the past, so don't try to argue that. Instead, always be aware in the moment where she's at. So again, this is relationships, dating, texting, and why I'm talking about texting, that means that a week ago, if she was texting you back right away, 
if you're not constantly watching, if you're not looking at mirror texting and you start texting her back too soon and get too eager and you'll start to see that she'll respond slower and slower. You have to constantly be aware. So don't rely on yesterday or a week ago. Always be in the moment with women. And that's the same with texting. So always take all of these clues, patch them all together. If she sent you a really great emoticon two weeks ago, forget about it the, the next day. Don't use that again. Don't bring that up from the past. Women respond in the moment. So anything in the past, every day is like you're starting fresh. That's why... I'm so adamant about these texting principles. I use them all the time in my day-to-day -day texting because when I coast, even when I've done this so many times, I can get away with a lot, but there will be times where there's girls where I get a little cocky and I just think, you know what, I don't have to wait to respond. I can text her back right away. And then all of a sudden I go to ask her to hang out and she makes an excuse and I go, oh my gosh. And I look back at the conversation, I go, I know why she didn't go out with me. And yes, it's because I got cocky and I didn't follow mirror texting. So always be in the moment with women. Always can't only count what has happened in your recent past with her. Anything from yesterday or beyond, don't count on that. 